In this video, we talk to two seven-figure Amazon sellers, Thomas from Lithuania and Tom from Belgium, who attended uh, the VIP mastermind we organized during the recent European Seller Conference in Prague. During this event, Amazon sellers could mastermind with Amazon experts like Tom Rabinovich, Stephen Pope, Chris Rawlings, and Anthony Cofrancesco. All right, so let's jump to the video and let's learn some tips from two experienced seven-figure Amazon sellers. During European Seller Conference, we organized uh, a mastermind of 30 VIP sellers with four mastermind experts. Uh, how did you like this concept and event and um, you know, any feedback about what, how was it for you? So I would tell it like from metaphor size, right, from metaphor uh, opinion. So it's like when you're coming to the doctor and you know that your niece uh, hurts. So you're coming and you say you have this, this kind of problem and you have this kind of expert who will just uh, give you right answer uh, what to do to avoid uh, the same like problem in the future. So it's, it's amazing. Uh, personally, it's really one of my favorite concepts uh, to, to learn new things. I think um, it, was, it was intimate. Uh, it's not a big group and, and it was really intense. So it was only half a day, but after four sessions, uh, you're really done for the day. What was the most interesting thing you learned during these uh, sessions, four sessions during Mastermind? One example is uh, from Tomer uh, Rabinovich. So just nice idea how to be more specific on your target audience and give uh, like exact hint for them to they will be not only like the buying products like from the uh, not as a shopping mall right when you're coming and buying milk for yourself so when you're buying something that will get your more in touch with the brand so in this case it was nice example when they're selling some kind of brand to sell like uh, the brand is selling spreadsheets so they add information in the spreadsheets how fold spreadsheet in 15 seconds because what you can add to the, that kind of problem uh, product but in this case when they add this uh, video to that so your interest your courage like, like to take a look how to do that so in this case this nice idea and we get this like I get for myself this idea that we need to be more specific on our target audience and maybe add the really pain pain points of our target audience to our product right away a couple of things I think you learn a lot from each other and um, maybe a very specific example I, I showed one of my products and I immediately got a feedback from all the other people about things that I really didn't see anymore and that were really logical so if you're open and I think that's the biggest thing in the masterminds um, the more you give the more you get so if you just decide not to say anything which is you could do this but then it's also logical that you won't get a lot of information back and what was the one thing which you realized maybe you are doing wrong or not doing after these sessions you stayed with 30 sellers so uh, from my opinion there is there is no wrong or right things there's always like to test and check so in this case I find out so I don't need to like maybe change something but I need to test it because when you're speaking with uh, when you're getting information about different ideas it's not about like that this idea will work 100% for you so you need to check if it is working so it's for you if it's not you are changing like always in the marketing always when you're selling something you need to understand that you need to implement different uh, strategies and maybe only one strategy will like give you a lot of sales right so in this case you need to like, always be improving so those people who are not joining the conferences, I think that they're like, I don't know, how, uh, how the small lake, right? You're just going uh, in, in one way, you don't see other horizons. So when you're coming to the conference, you can be in the ocean of ideas, ocean of networking and like more people, more ideas, more insights. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not really doing something wrong. It's, it's more what you're not doing or what, what you could do better. I think a good example is always, um, you think you're done with your picture, like your main image, but actually you're never done. Hey, there's always one better and, and, and ways to improve it. So um, because of also, yeah, with, with the agency side, you manage a lot of accounts, you do a lot of things, but you, you stop at a certain point to improve them. And that's why I like it also to be selling myself, because you can really go into depth and, and continue to improve 
and then of course also transfer the knowledge to, to other accounts and other brands. As I'm a seller like for five and plus years, so in this case, today on the conference, I realized that I didn't, like, I find out new idea. It's about uh, warehouses of Amazon. So just to check where our products is selling, because uh, there is a gap that maybe your product is not in the right uh, warehouse in like USA or somewhere else so that's why in that specific region you are not uh, in the ra ranking absolutely you are not there so in this case maybe th this was like the, the, the absolutely news for us so we need to check that we need to find out and maybe to send some inventory there to just take a look can you share with us uh, what tools and services you are using uh, in your Amazon business um, yeah, I, I think for us, I, for me personally, and also for the agency, a very important tool is Sellerboard. Um, I'm a big fan. It's, it's, it's easy, it's comprehensive. It gives great insights on your profitability. Um, for advertising, I was using before Perpetua, and now I switched to Packview. Um, difficult to say because, of course, you can't compare live if, which one is doing better. Um, and then I think Pickview is also one that we're really using and, and we're very uh, happy with. So you have quite experience selling on Amazon. Do you sell on any other platforms outside Amazon? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, in Belgium and the Netherlands, we have Bold.com, uh, which is actually the leader before Amazon. So that's also a platform that, that I'm active on. Um, I've then done my first steps now on Allegro in Poland, which is also a big one in, 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 in Europe, which isn't easy because of the Polish language. Uh, but yeah, step by step, we're, we're getting there. And then also a, bit a little bit on uh, Decathlon which is also a good marketplace for, for some items. So yeah, definitely also looking at other marketplaces. And what, uh, from your experience, you think is the best and the worst thing of selling on Amazon? So the best thing selling on Amazon, from my opinion, is absolutely remote work. So in this case, you can live whatever you want, wherever you want. And the worst thing, I think that Amazon mostly cares about the customers, not the sellers. So in this case, uh, it's always hard to speak with the seller support. But in other case, we get a lot of information how to like have some tricks in the conference because like Stephen Pope told us, uh, so you can, there are rules of the Amazon, but you can trick them with their responsibility. Because if you're orientated on your customer and you are telling for Amazon support that that will be better for customers. So in this case, you can like trick you can change something in your listings in your products to be better to have more sales um, I, I don't like seller support um, I, I, I really liked uh, Stephen Pope his post on uh, acquiring seller support on the 1st of April I was really hoping that it was true but it wasn't of course um, what I do like on Amazon is that you get instant results and feedback so you try something and actually after one or two weeks you know if it's working or not um, whereas if you look at Shopify or web shops, you have a much longer funnel and it really takes much more time. And it's also much more difficult to, to evaluate if it's really what you've changed, if it's really working or not. Whereas on Amazon, you can really do really specific testing and seeing the results. I do hope you liked this video and the tips to Amazon sellers uh, shared with you. And uh, if you want more videos with Amazon experts, don't forget to subscribe and like this video as well and subscribe to our channel. And now I would like to invite you to watch other video with four Amazon experts who are sharing some tips how you can increase Amazon sales.